welcome to another vlog and today I want to do some decluttering maybe you've seen all of my videos lately are just decluttering 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 <laughs> but I'm really enjoying it I do this every December in preparation for the new year and today I want to go through my handbags accessories and some clothing items and also my sport caps so wardrobe but first I wanted to unbox this little brush this one I actually bought in the beginning of the year but it got a little green tint around this area of the makeup brush. So I wrote to Eva and I said, what is going on? I never experienced something like this. And they happily sent me a replacement. So I just wanted to unbox it with you because I personally find unboxings very satisfying. So here is the new brush. It's my detail setting powder brush that I love very much and I'm so happy that they just sent me a replacement. But funny enough, before I got that one, they by accident sent me my powder highlighter brush, which I already have. As you can see right here, this one is the same one. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this one. Maybe I'm gonna put it in my time will tell drawer to see if I wanna use it in the future or maybe I'm gonna give it to someone. I already asked my sister and my mom, they don't really need it, so. I just wanted to show you so you can know the updates, but now as promised, I wanna start decluttering. First, I wanna go through my time will tell box because I have two pieces that I wanna declutter today. At the top, I have my makeup brushes that I'm not sure about and I'm just gonna add this one to the pile for now. <laughs> I think I'm gonna declutter makeup maybe in January, February, so I'm gonna wait until then. But for my clothing items, let me see what I have. The first thing I'm decluttering is my silk button up that I actually really like, but the color, as you can see next to my skin tone, I just feel this color washes me out. So I decided that I don't wanna put it in my capsule wardrobe. I'm gonna be letting it go. And maybe in the future I can get a silk button up that is shiny in a white color, which I think it's gonna look amazing. But you know, that's optional, I'm gonna see. But for now, this one is going. And then the second piece that I also want to declutter is this black off-shoulder top. As you can see, this is how it looks. And I personally don't think it flatters me the most. It's not the most comfortable. I have to wear a strapless bra with it. And if I'm wearing a strapless bra, I have so many gorgeous tops and this one doesn't really make the cut. It's not really comfy. It's not really amazing. <laughs> it's just, it doesn't really flatter me. So this one is the second piece that it's going out of my time hotel boxes. For all of the other pieces, I'm still gonna give it a little bit more time. And now for my sport capsule wardrobe, I decided I'm gonna declutter a few pieces as well. The first one is this one. These are not really flattering and they're actually long black leggings, but they have the little holes. As you can see, some of them are really big. <laughs> And the problem that I have with this is that they're not really warm. So I have black long leggings, but they're not warm. So then I would wear them in the summer, but in the summer I prefer my shorts. And it's just, they're just a little bit non-functional for me specifically. Also, like I said, they're not flattering. They're washed out just a little bit. I did wear them a lot, so that's good. But for now, I'm just gonna let them go. And instead of them, I'm gonna get something warm, like black warm leggings that look really, really nice. Actually, I've already been looking for warm black leggings that I can even dress up, but I couldn't find them anywhere. So if you have any suggestions, please let me know. I looked at uh, Decathlon and Calcedonia. Also, I looked some things online, but I'm just not sure. But I would like something that they look almost like pants, leggings, not tights, if that makes sense, so I can even dress them up. Then I have this Leo top that personally, I mean, again, I wore it a lot. It's washed out a little bit, but I'm decluttering it because of functionality. It has this nice little bag, racer bag and a holder top, but my issue is that it's just not that functional. It's not a fitted top, so if I'm doing something sporty, then it keeps going up and down and I just personally don't really love it anymore. And then another thing that I'm gonna be decluttering, <laughs> maybe you remember when I bought this, but what I'm realizing with my capsule, sport capsule wardrobe is that I really wanna have multifunctional pieces. So I want them to be comfortable for lounging around the house. I want them to look nice if I go outside. 
you know so i want to have the practicality but also the style and these pants i just cannot wear outside if they would be black i think it would be possible but they just look like loungewear also they're not really warm i wash them so many times the pink is not really pink anymore the inside is not that soft anymore even though i didn't bought them that long ago i wore them and washed them a lot as you can see by the color and I actually have no problem decluttering them. If I would be wearing pajamas or stuff like that, I would be keeping them, but I personally don't. So for that reason, I'm just gonna let them go. And then the last thing that I was thinking to declutter is this one, which maybe you're like, oh, this one is gorgeous. And I do agree, but just I don't feel it's the most comfortable. I also feel like I have too many hoodies, too many tops. And I personally prefer, you know, zip up sweaters like this one because they're really st stretchy and comfortable. Or I also have long sleeve t-shirts that are really comfortable. This, this one is cropped, but I personally prefer this one so much more because I can train in this kind of tops. I can layer them, I can dress them up. But then the hoodies that I have are just not a 10 for me. So this one is the first one that I'm gonna be decluttering. I think my mom is gonna love it. Out of all of my hoodies, this one is the least comfortable. That's why it's going. And I think that's it when it comes to my... Oh no, I think I have something else. Maybe you remember when I was decluttering my sport cap so a while back, I said, if I'm not wearing my wristbands once i'm gonna let them go this i got at wimbledon so they're kind of sentimental for me but not really because i never use them but my mom she plays a lot of tennis and she will love them so i'm just gonna give this to her that's it for my sport capsule and now we can go through my handbags Ooh. <laughs> and now this is the downstairs closet and here are all of my handbags. I have the red one and the coral one. These are both staying. The pink and the nude, again, they're both staying. I have my Saint Laurent black and Pauline Neuf. They're both staying. And here I have my backpack, but also this vegan bag that I'm gonna be finally decluttering. So this one I can just make a little bit prettier now. I also have my black Pauline bag that I'm also gonna be keeping, but this one I'm wearing today, that's why it's here. And now to my shoes. I actually want to declutter one pair because I bought this new ankle booties not too long ago and I love them and wear them so much. I decided that I can finally let go of my older pair. As you can see, the heel is quite higher, even though they are gorgeous. I just don't wear them. That's why I'm gonna be letting them go. And that's it for the shoes. And now for my accessories, I have all of my scarves in here. As you can see, I have six of them, but these two are actually really similar if you ask me, and I love this one so much more. So this one, again, I'm gonna be decluttering. I'm gonna show you all of the items that I decluttered a little better in a minute, but I'm just taking everything out for now. And then up here, I have my storage items, but I decided I'm gonna declutter a winter puffer coat because I bought a new one. So this one is going as well. Okay, now I can go into a little bit more detail what I'm decluttering and why. So first I have this Burberry scarf that it's, I agree, absolutely gorgeous. A lot of you loved it, but I personally just don't wear it enough to keep it. I didn't wear it once in my full capsule wardrobe and the reason for that is just the thickness and the warmth it provides. I personally wear scarves for warmth. And this one, as you can see, it's really thin and I just don't wanna have thin scarves in my collection anymore because I prefer the warm scarves. And then for the jacket, I can show you how it looks on in case you're curious. As you can see, this one is just a winter jacket. It's really nice. I worn it so, so, so much, but I bought a longer version that it's so much warmer and that I already worn so much, even though we're not even in the dead of winter yet. I prefer that one so much more. This one I kept just in case I would have loved the new one, but now that I'm confident that I preferred the new one to this one, 
I'm gonna sell this one because it's still in great condition. It's still very warm, stylish. But yeah, I just don't need <laughs> too many options in my capsule wardrobe. That's why I'm decluttering this one as well. And now for the shoes, these are the shoes that I, I'm gonna be selling. I think, I, I mean, when I look at them, they're so gorgeous. A part of me is thinking that if I, should I wait a little bit, maybe put them in a time will tell box. Honestly, I just don't wear them. No, I'm gonna be selling them, enough. <laughs> Sometimes you know you're not wearing something, but then you look at the item up close and you're like, oh, so pretty, so shiny, and you wanna keep it. But honestly, I don't wear them. I would rather buy a new pair in the future because I'm thinking, oh, this would be really nice if I dress up a little bit. But for that occasion, I would prefer something else, to be honest. So I'm gonna be decluttering this pair. And then lastly, my vegan tote handbag, because I don't love the functionality. I also have my laptop case in here, which I'm gonna be keeping definitely, but the bag itself, even though I loved it at one point, I, I wore it so, so, so much. I just don't feel the same spark anymore. And the main issue that I have with this bag is that I personally, I cannot really wear it like this. So when it gets heavy, you can only wear it with the crossbody strap and then it gets really, really heavy. So if I would have a tote bag in my collection, I would want something that has bigger handles that I can wear like this, even when I'm wearing a coat. And what I also don't like is the big opening because if I close it, you can see it still has huge gaps where the rain or snow can fall in. I just don't find it that practical anymore. I also have a raincoat. It's a handbag raincoat actually, that I bought specifically for this bag. As you can see, <laughs> But if I'm selling the bag, then I can also sell the raincoat because I don't really need it for any other bag. And now here is everything on one spot. It's so funny when you're decluttering, you just think it's one piece here and one piece there. But when you see everything together, you realize you've done a really good job. And I'm so, so, so excited that this is going. Also, the shoes I just put down here <laughs> because I don't want to put them on the couch, obviously. But this is what I did today. And next week I will go through my entire house and declutter the rest of it. So I can be really, really ready for 2024. And now to the usual outfit of the day. Here is the final look. You've seen the dress before. I love this one so much. It's super warm and I love wearing it with my pink scarf because it's very similar in colors but the patterns are different and I just love the combo. Then I have the new sheer tech tights which I've been wearing non-stop lately. I love them but underneath I actually have, I'm not sure if you can see, but I actually have nude fleeced leggings which make everything very very warm and appropriate for winter and that's why I can also wear my leather ankle booties because I have the warm in my entire leg and then this is the puppy in his little outfit hello <laughs> he's so adorable as for my coat I have my faux fur coat because this one is so so warm warmer than my wool coat that's why it's my go-to choice for winter months and then lastly I have this bag that I have to change soon <laughs> I honestly just keep wearing this one but this is today's look And now we're back home from our grocery shop that we did in the morning. I also checked out Calcedonia and Intimissimi. In Calcedonia, I found a pair of sparkly tights that I'm gonna show you. They're really, really cute. But in Intimissimi, I tried on a navy, boat neck top that I already own in a black color but I was thinking that I could add a navy one to my sport capsule wardrobe but honestly I just didn't fall in love with the color so I didn't get anything and now we're actually going out again <laughs> to Ikea and to buy some things for the puppy but first of course I wanted to show you the outfit this is my inner layer so I have my light gray turtleneck and my faux leather pants with my faux leather ankle booties then I have gold jewelry gold earrings and the gold watch with a black belt and a gold buckle. But now let me show you this outfit with the outerwear because it's amazing. Today is actually a little bit sunny and a little bit warmer. So of course I had to take out my ivory coat that it's so, so gorgeous. I also think it looks amazing with my tan scarf. As for my handbag, I have my shiny leather Saint Laurent bag that matches perfectly with my booties and the pants. And I think this look is just so, so, so stylish. I 
love it and now it's monday i really wanted to show you the tights and everything on saturday but we had such a busy day i just couldn't so instead i created a little outfit with my new tights today and i'm gonna show you this a little bit later but first i wanted to update you on tights that i bought what two weeks ago the unbreakable sheer text tights because I got a little really really tiny hole in them as you can see this is this little hole and I think maybe I have another one as well which was very very sad this happened to me on the second day of wearing them but I wrote them an email I sent them the pictures and they sent me a replacement now I have two pair of tights and these are brand new as you can see the old pair and the new pair i know in the past they required for you to really destroy the pair that you have so they can send you the replacement and i was willing to do that because i just wasn't happy that i got the whole on the second day but to be honest it didn't get any bigger i think i wore them five times in total and nothing extra happened so for me i personally still love these tights but i must say i would never buy them full price i would only buy them discounted when i bought them they were 39 euros maybe they're still discounted i'm not sure but for 39 euros i think they're worth it and now i have the second brand new tights i'm guessing everything is the same these are the brand new tights and i'm gonna see if the same thing happens again when i wear them but obviously I'm not gonna throw this away because they're still usable and I'm gonna wear them for a really long time. I'm just gonna wear both, to be honest. I just wanted to give you an update on how the unbreakable tights really work. These are super sheer and I think that's why the whole happened. But yeah, I just wanted to give you an update so you can know what's going on with my tights in case you're curious in case you want to check this brand out like i said i personally love them but i would always buy them on sale otherwise i don't really think they're worth it but now let me show you the new sparkly tights and the outfit that i'm wearing so i'm just wearing this dress which i have a few thoughts about it that i'm just gonna share in a second but first to the tights i bought this from calcedonia and they're really sparkly I'm doing my best so you can see these are really they are not subtle at all and the reason I bought them is because the old pair that I had the only pair that I had I ripped them really really bad they are completely unusable and these are actually made from just a little bit of a different material it's not really your standard tights material and I think they're gonna be a lot more durable and I personally think they're super fun they don't have any sparkles on the feet though which I think would look pretty cool with the black pumps but for ankle booties this is actually better so this is the new pair I just wanted to quickly show it to you because I think it's super fun this is the dress that I just don't know what to do with it <laughs> I told you in my last video that I'm gonna take it to the Sims dress so I just wanted to put it on to see how I feel about it what I would change and also I wanted to wear it throughout the day to see how much it bothers me because in the past I remember that this dress was just a little bit too warm and I wanted to see if that is something that I remember correctly or if something changed but honestly now that I see it on I don't think I will take it to the seamstress because I just don't think this dress is a 10 and I don't think there is anything special I can do to make it a 10 it's not the really right color I don't like the design that much I don't like the sleeves so I personally decided that I'm gonna keep it for the winter I'm gonna wear it see how I feel about it but in the meantime I'm gonna look for another white dress something that I feel a lot more comfortable in that it's the better material because this one just isn't it for me but at the same time I don't want to declutter it because I would feel I have a little bit of a gap in my capsule wardrobe so this is the update for my dress if you enjoyed this vlog give it a thumbs up and also leave a camera emoji so I can know you watched until the end and in the next vlog I'm gonna do the whole house declutter letter which i'm so so excited about but thank you for stopping by today and i will see you next time